What is up, everybody? Welcome to AK Plays. I'm AK. Let's play. Alright everybody, so today I'm going to be talking about the crazy power of Deadeye. Now, by power I don't mean special ability that nobody knows about, that we're pretty far into the game for everybody to kind of know what the gear set does, but it is still so underrated. I love this build, I love this gear set, everything about it, and it's still really a slept on gear set. Not a lot of people use it, and the people that do usually don't use it very effectively. Um, I love this gear set. I would say this is my number one favorite build in the game right now. Um, I like a couple of other ones too, but this is definitely my favorite. And I just don't see a ton of people using it, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, I'm seeing them more often, which is good. I, I, I know a lot of people really hate that eye, so I hesitate saying good. But in my opinion, it's good because it adds a different element to the game that a lot of people really don't expect or have to deal with or really take into account for anything. When you're playing the Division, it is such a close quarter game that nobody expects a sniper. And that's why a lot of people, a lot of good players especially, try to use beaming builds or lightweight M4s with good amounts of stability that allow them to shoot at distance. And that's because a lot of the other players that aren't using those builds won't be able to engage at that distance. When you use Deadeye, all of a sudden you make that distance way more than anybody can comprehend. Now, of course, beaming builds can reach you depending on how close you are. Uh, but overall, you're going to have the advantage at long range. And that's so powerful, and it's amazing that other people don't use it. It's very rare to see, and when you do, it's kind of a big deal. And so, I, I'm surprised that not more people have this saved as a loadout, or something they've experimented with, because it is so unbelievably powerful. Now, I've used Deadeye for a long, long time, and I saved it as my loadout right at the beginning of 1.8. I optimized the build, and this was the second build that I optimized when 1.8 dropped. It was a lot of fun, and I knew that I would love it, and I still do. But I kind of had a... The reason this comes up is I had a comment yesterday that asked me about what loadouts I think I would want, what are my top six, and I took it as my top six, and then what six I think people should run in 1.8.3. And I did five loadouts that I think are pretty normal, but... Then I thought, what do I put as a sixth loadout? And as much as I ran through my brain thinking, what could I put on there? I kept coming back to Deadeye because it is such a game changer and it is so important for when you're in a niche situation that's very different. Now, a lot of the situations are gonna call for certain builds, whether that is needing a reclaimer healer, needing a final measure to catch grenades, needing a DPS build for solo play, or needing a DPS build for playing with your team that has maybe a vigorous chest. Those kind of builds are very straightforward and people understand why and when they would need them. Deadeye, on the other hand, not a lot of people ever think, I wish I had Deadeye for this situation. I think once you start using it, and if you, if you do start using it and you make a loadout for it, it ends up being way more useful than you'd think because there's a lot of people in this game that do what these guys are doing, which is trying to stay back and engage at distance. And when you have a dead eye, all of a sudden your team has a way bigger advantage at distance fighting. Now, if they do ever push up through that funnel, then they're probably going to get one, two tapped, maybe three if they're running Nomad. Ah, uh, well, heck, if they're running Nomad, it could be like seven shots before they die because they could have unlimited lives. But <laughs> aside from that, that is, I would say that's the one weakness to Deadeye, is Nomad. Uh, D3 is also a pretty good weakness, but since they have to walk with their shield, you have time to get away. A Nomad can sprint straight at you and proc a couple of times on their way to you, no matter how many times you shoot them. So obviously be careful of that if you're running Deadeye, but other than that, it is just so strong. It can drop people so quickly, and it's just unrivaled at distance fighting, which I think has a huge part in 1.8.3. 
because I think, I'm not going to say it's the ultimate beaming build, but it's definitely strong enough to take on beaming builds, and as long as you keep your distance, it can take on the close quarters builds. Now, a lot of people think, well, it's so, it does have all these drawbacks, which it does. You have to really practice using Deadeye and understand what's good about it and what you have to know how to do. But, if someone does get all close up on you, you don't have a lot of stamina, and it is pretty cover reliant, needing to hit your crits, so you need to be in cover. But, I've been experimenting with it and trying to quick scope more where I'm out of cover and I take shots at people, and you still have a good amount of crit chance as long as you scope in. So I don't know, I would say that that issue isn't that much of a problem if you start to learn how to quick scope. And once you get rid of that, you can be a little more mobile and you can get away from people a little easier. Now the way I've been working on that is by doing 1v1s with my Deadeye build, which I know is a little strange, but I've been trying it out because I'm trying to get even better with my Deadeye. I obviously I really enjoy this build and I've used it a lot, which makes me pretty adept at using it. However, I wanted to get better at close range fighting with it and being able to get out of sticky situations. Now, I've always been able to kind of strafe and shimmy away and get away from people, but I wanted to kind of work on my close quarter movement and shooting and kind of quick scoping up close. Now the reason you want to do that is because you want to minimize as many weaknesses as possible on your gear set or build. And I think that there's three big weaknesses to Deadeye that prevent a lot of people from using it. The first is they're not comfortable with marksman rifles. Second, they're not comfortable with taking cover. Third, they don't feel very safe using that low of stamina. Now, I'm very comfortable with marksman rifles, I've used them for a long time, so I'm working on the other two. I am working on getting out of cover more and quick scoping, and then using cover every chance I get. And the low stamina, I'm just working on making sure that I stay moving and only stop to shoot. Which, I'm working on through these 1Vs here. Now, this isn't something I'm actively doing every day and pursuing with people, but if I can find somebody to do it with me, it's a lot of fun. Now, these guys were very cool guys that we were on the server with, and we fought with them for a few hours, and we had a bunch of fun. And then um, we decided to settle down and do some 1Vs. And then you can see at the end here after this clip, uh, my teammate Green leaves and does a 1Vs with me as well. Uh, these first couple of guys, I believe they were using Deadeye also. And then the last one, Green, I think used his Hexo with an AR or an SMG. And that was definitely a really hard test and it was a very close fight. I didn't put any parameters on these 1Vs. I said if we can use cover, fine. If not, then that's okay. I used cover when I felt safe to do so. But if not, then I was going to try to quick scope and get good shots in but that's the video guys nothing too crazy today but i just wanted to talk about deadeye a little bit so i hope you enjoy and i will catch you tomorrow Oh, hell no! Nani? 
お前はもう死んでいる。Tango down.